Hello there. Today I'll be showing you some features of the rocket motor that can be added and removed that I've gathered over the weeks that I've been uh, tweaking with this rocket motor. Uh, the first thing I would suggest is getting washers that are about this size. Um, it just makes, makes it a lot better for um, getting the cement into your pipe. Um, the second thing I want to point out is that you can use plaster of Paris. Um, I found that it works, it's very, quite resistant to heat, um, it sets quite quickly um, and because of that uh, one of the properties I've noticed that if you use um, cold water the setting time of the plaster of Paris is a lot shorter but if the water is room temperature then uh, it sets a lot faster to the point where once you've done mixing it, it'll have already started hardening and be difficult to work with. I'll be showing you the consistency of the plus of Paris that you need. I found that if you just leave the little chunks of plus of Paris from the previous mix in the plus of Paris, it, it adds filler so you don't have to use as much plus of Paris. So you don't have to do it, but I just found it works. And you want it to have this consistency. Then you pour it in. I would advise that you wear ear protection um, when you do this because it gets quite noisy. Now the plaster of Paris set so quickly that I was able to remove it in between the time it took me to wash my hands. So, you just take a pencil, push out the little hole, and then we can work go to the aspects of the fuel that need changing. Now, with regards to the fuel, I found that if you add 3% uh, ethylene glycol, which is used in um, antifreeze, as you can see here, uh, it'll actually make the fuel a lot softer and much easier to work with. Now a substance like that is called a surfactant. Um, you can probably find other ones similar, uh, but this is just what I have available. Now to measure it out, you just use a little bottle cap. You can manually pour it in, but I found that just using a pipette works. So 3% in the uh, fuel we're using would be four grams um, So I'll do that now. So I just went and measured out four grams by mass of antifreeze liquid So in case you want the recipe again, it is 87.7 grams of potassium nitrate uh, 47.2 grams of sucrose 1.5 grams of iron oxide well, one, and four grams of ethylene glycol, which is the antifreeze now, one thing I want to mention before starting here, when you work with making um, rocket candy, uh, I want to just mention that uh, before starting to add iron oxide to your fuel, I want you to like just work with it without iron oxide um, until you can learn how to mix it without it going dark. Because the iron oxide makes it so dark that you cannot see that it's actually going darker um, and the sugar starts to caramelize. Um, so with the ethylene glycol you just add it in and then you just want to rinse your little cap to get the ethylene glycol that sticks to it. And you just want to add your water and then you cook it normally. Um, one thing to note is that because the ethylene glycol, one of the properties of it is that it will raise the boiling point so it takes a bit longer to boil the water off. Now another change I recommend once you've made your fuel is you get washers that once you've put your paper inside the tube these washers fit quite snugly but um, not so small that there are large gaps. So you get your washer in and then you place your fuel into your pipe.
and then you want to push your um, aluminium covered dowel into the pipe or into the fuel and then once it's reached the bottom you want to push it through the the washer now this these washers actually serve a dual purpose one they act to guide your dowel through the middle so you don't have it veering from side to side and then it'll also act as uh, something to help you compress the fuel and help it take up less space so you take your second washer you put it over and then you want to get like a paper tube or a metal pipe but make sure that it is longer than your dowel and then once you've put in your fuel done that then you want to compress it and this will serve to void will get rid of any air pockets so as you can see there where it would have come up all the way to the top of the pipe I've now managed to press it down just about half a centimeter more um, but for best results I suggest you get a clamp or press something or press very hard on it uh, I find that stepping on it also works um, you just have to make sure that it doesn't flop over when you step on it. Now by step on it I meant uh, use your foot to apply pressure. Now you can also beat this with a hammer um, to get it down. So just let that cool down and then we are ready to move on to the next step. Okay now once you've let the fuel grain cool, uh, remove the tin foil and wrapped it in cling wrap, now you want to, as before, remove all the little bits of uh, plaster of Paris that end up sticking to the sides here because uh, they might actually pierce the, the cling wrap as you're pushing it down um, which would obviously allow moisture in that's being released from the, the nozzle. Then you want to push in the side that's the most centered with the hole. And then once you've done that, you press your the cling wrap flat. Then what you want to do is uh, take just a metal tube. I have a cigar tube here. You can also take aluminum foil and then melt some candle wax in it. And then once you've done that, Now once you've melted the wax you want to just pour in a little bit, just allow it to cool a bit and then press it flat um, just to cool it down to stop it from running into the motor as it might find its way in. You just press it down flat, I just use a piece of wooden dowel, also use your finger to try and take away some of that heat. Also spread around the wax, then add a little bit more wax on top of that, and then just blow on it. So what this step does is it removes the need to put in the clay, which takes up a little bit of the space. So now you just drill the holes, fill it in with your plaster of Paris, or you can still use the anchoring cement and then you, the motor is done. I just realized that I forgot to scratch the inside of the pipe. And there we go, that is your rocket motor done. Just put it in your desiccator chamber and let it sit there for two, one or two days just to let it cure and then it will be ready to launch. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.